Well, good afternoon. We're down at the Ark Encounter site. We're here in the life-size Noah's Ark under construction in Williamstowns, Kentucky. And we're here in the bow section. This is the last section of the main body of the Ark to be completed. And this will be sealed up very, very quickly. It's been a stormy afternoon, actually. Lots of storm clouds going through, rain. Uh, but this is the last section now that will uh, get sealed up, the floor and then the outside, and ready for our opening July 7. There's still a lot to do, but you can hear there's uh, work going on here. Right now, up to 200 construction workers every day. That's a lot of uh, construction that's going on. You can also see over the background there, uh, you can see the 1,500-seat restaurant. That's a two-story restaurant. It also has a basement at the back, and you can see the framing that's going up there. I know all the roof trusses are here, and they're getting ready to get that done very, very quickly because uh, all the foundation is in. Uh, you can hear them working on the outside of the bow section. We're looking over at the petting zoo. Uh, they've, well, they've got a lot of one of the barns done. There's another big barn under construction and lots of other individual sheds there. Uh, we're going to have live animal programs each day. We have some special people who are animal specialists who will be doing those live programs. And again, all from a biblical perspective. And uh, we'll just have a little peek inside the ark here, uh, just to show you. I've, I've done this before, but they're already well underway uh, installing various exhibits. Uh, right now the floor is getting ready for bamboo flooring. And uh, so you can see here, this is the ramp actually, the ramp up to uh, deck two. We're on deck one right here. Uh, this is one of my favorite spots for looking at the ark. You can see uh, right down the center of the ark here. See right up to the roof deck. See all those poles down, those lodge poles, those timbers, heavy timbers. Uh, it's going to be the biggest timber frame structure, post and beam construction with the mortise and tenon joints, the heavy timbers, the vents. It'll be the biggest timber frame structure in the world. Uh, this ramp over here is the ramp that people go down on. They come in on deck one at the back, uh, further down, but when they exit the ark, they'll be going down this ramp here that goes down to the gift store uh, underneath. And you see here, they're starting to seal off some of those bays. They're installing exhibits down there in the other bays down there, uh, but uh, they've got a lot of the exhibits already done. They're in storage right now at our facility where we have our designers, fabricators working on them and as soon as this bow gets sealed up and we get the flooring in a lot of that will go in very very uh, quickly i think some of our design team are probably going to be spending all nighters here uh, before it opens but uh, we'll come back out here onto the bow again and you can see the two-story restaurant that's being built behind there and we're in the bow section here and it's just exciting to see what's happening. This is going to be one of the greatest Christian outreaches of our era of history. And it'll be one of the greatest attractions in America, actually, and I believe in the world. We're going to see people come from all over the world to come to the Life Size Ark. So, it opens July 7. You can go to arkencounter.com, uh, find out about ticketing, find out about all sorts of other information. Actually, we're totally upgrading our websites, too. By the middle of May, we're going to have all new websites. In regard to that, make it really easy for people. And we're going to give some very special ticket deals. In fact, we're going to give something special to enable people to stay for a week and have unlimited visits to the Ark and the museum. We'll make that available about mid-May, and they can do that over a period of week and then go to other attractions in the area. When you come here, I, we are challenging people, hey, think about coming to this area as a vacation so you can spend time at the Ark, at the Creation Museum, really great themed attractions, biblical, evangelistic, professional, world-class, and actually I think most people could probably spend two days at the Ark, two days at the museum, but then we have a lot of other attractions in the area, the Kentucky Horse Park, the Newport Aquarium, the Cincinnati Zoo, we have the Cincinnati Reds, Kings Island, the Dayton Air Force Museum, then uh, further south, Mammoth Caves, and so it goes on. So you could make Northern Kentucky your vacation destination. But go to arkencounter.com to find out more about the Ark and even about our local area attractions. And you can find out more about the Creation Museum at creationmuseum.org. 
and there's a lot of information there too about our local area. So thanks for joining us live this afternoon, Friday afternoon, uh, here in April, a stormy afternoon uh, with a lot of rain showers that came through, uh, but it looks like it's gone through now. And uh, we'll do live updates again in the future.